This video is sponsored by Skillshare. So we are out for a weekend adventure and we're going somewhere pretty awesome uh, this evening. So it's actually our first stop. I can't wait to show you guys. We found a parking spot for the van. We have been on the road for about four hours, give or take. That was a massive traffic jam going out from Oslo. Anyways, we're here. Uh, Benedicta have uh, fixed our kit because we need to take a shower before we go to the next spot. <laughs> You'll see why. We have found a pretty unique architect kind of sauna. It's placed just by the lake. It has its own illuminated kind of stairway going out on the lake. And it appears to be floating, but of course it's not, but it's super cool. And this is where we're heading next. This place is steaming hot. <laughs> it was so hot. I can only last like 10 minutes and then I have to go to the bar. <laughs> Going for a midnight dip? Yep. In this super black water, which actually kind of freaks me out. <laughs> I hate when I can't see what's on the bottom. Oh. Don't be any fish here, please. How's the water? Refreshing. <laughs> mm. I can actually stand here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Feel safe? Yeah. This place is like crazy. Look back at the sauna now. It's very, very nice. And the crazy thing is that this is... You can book it if you want, right? Anybody, Anybody can, can book, book it. it. And it's only like 300. Norwegian Kronos, so it's like 30 bucks or something. This has to be the hottest destination in Norway. Last night, after having uh, spent a few hours at the sauna, we had to find a camp spot in the, in the dark. So this is what we came up with. We'll try to exhaust uh, our husky a bit with a hike. There, uh, there's a pretty nice river here. Good uh, chance for her to take a swim too, because she tends to get really hot on these warm summer days. You know, I really miss those summer months. Looking back on this footage and comparing it to the weather outside right now... Hmm. Maybe I have a bit of extra self-pity because I'm a bit under the weather. Anyway, I'm spending the time trying to learn new stuff and for that I use Skillshare, an online learning community with thousands of classes for creators. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and new premium classes are always launching. Say you want to start a podcast build a business or create cinematic travel videos. You'll find classes on this and so much more. Personally, I have been looking into this productivity masterclass from fellow YouTuber Ali Abdal, exploring principles and tools to boost my productivity. Whether you're a dabbler or a pro, a hobbyist or a master, discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. 
And the first thousand people to hit the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. All right, let's get back to the summer vibes. And away from this snowy weather. And next up is us jumping into the cold water. There you go, there's the, the morning swim complete. Pretty nice surroundings. We pretty much stumbled upon this uh, place, but it turned out really nice. So now we're gonna hike some more, return to the van, and then we're gonna explore some more. So lunch is going on. Yeah, the rain uh, caught up with us and uh, we're just trying to spend the time wisely while uh, the clouds pass by. We have a waterfall we want to check out, but not in this weather. And also uh, a hike, which I've heard good things about. But uh, for now, lunch, coffee, charge our own batteries a bit with uh, food. Then we'll head on out. So we had a quick stop at that magnificent viewpoint. Had a chocolate and got to relax a bit in the hammock as you saw. This area is pretty cool actually because there's a lot of history uh, from this place. We looked down at the lake, a very big lake. Actually there was a ship that got sunk there. Uh, there was a bomb placed on board. I think everybody on board the ship went down with it. It was a, a sabotage mission and uh, actually this area is super interesting and the valley you looked into uh, over the lake also has some pretty spectacular operations that the Norwegian special forces did back in the days uh, during the second world war. So I might come back here sometime and uh, have a more historical approach if that's something you you'd like to see. But for now, let's get back to the van and head on to the next place. Okay, so a quick update. Uh, we were almost at the camp spot, uh, but before we got there, the road was closed off. <laughs> that was quite the detour. Uh, there's not really any good options around, so we're gonna try to reach it from the other side and drive around. It's gonna add another 45 minutes. Uh, so it's gonna be late, and we're just hoping there's nobody there and that the sun doesn't set before we get there. are outside enjoying the fire pit and I'm in here uh, in charge of the tacos today you know it's the weekend so we gotta have it 
view is on point. The fire is going. And the company? The company, not too shabby. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Zulu is begging for food. So everything is like it, it should be. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Looks delicious. Okay, meet. Okay, so this is round two for the breakfast. <laughs> Strawberry with a new lovely cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Some chocolate, as this is our guilty meal of the day, maybe. It is Saturday. It is Saturday, after all. And for once, we're taking a really, really slow breakfast. And yeah, I can get used to this. All right, so the van is packed up. We are just about ready to go. And we figured we're gonna head back home because the weather is uh, overcast and really the rain will shortly be here and also tomorrow. So we figured we'll spend uh, the time off to go back home and fix a few bits and bobs with the van that has been annoying us. Um, always a few things to take care of and we figured this is a good uh, opportunity to fix those uh, annoying items. So anyway, I might show you what we're up to uh, with the van when we come back home and at the end of this video. If not, I hope you enjoy this little weekend warrior journey of ours. And uh, hopefully you'll be back to see more of our van life content, which I hope is your favorite van life content. Okay, anyways, bye for now. See you next time. We are back in a garage and doing some work on the diesel heater storage compartment to cover the entire area above the heater. And then we'll rest a storage box on top and then we'll have leave some room here behind it. So that's the next project now. Finished product. There you go. Resting uh, some holes to just let the heat escape if needed. And the hose for the intake and the warm air is not affected. And that also saved some storage for the back. And if you have to do any maintenance, you just do it like this. Pretty, pretty neat. <laughs> and really homemade DIY style, that's fun. Mm -hmm.